Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate that you do. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's free. And if you subscribe, you won't miss a thing. Okay, takeaways over the weekend. Oregon loses a disappointing game to Arizona. Meanwhile, Oregon State overcomes a 31-3 deficit at Colorado, comes back under the arm of Jake Luton and a lot of spunk and beats the Buffaloes. No other takeaway than the Civil War just got interesting, right? I mean, look at Oregon and look at what's gone on on the offensive side of the ball. I think a ton of questions for the Ducks who have become one-dimensional, who have given up their identity, who have stopped trying to run the football, inexplicably unable to run the football against Arizona and Washington State. And meanwhile, offensive coordinator Marcus Arroyo, really, who has two years left on his contract, I think has four games to convince Mario Cristobal that he should bring him back next year. Keep an eye on that. Why can't the Ducks run the football? Well, the defenses are putting eight players in the box. They're playing man-to-man -man on the outside, and Oregon's receiving core just not good enough as a group to make you pay for that. So keep an eye on that as the season moves on for Oregon, because if that doesn't improve and Arroyo doesn't get more imaginative, more creative, and find ways to get Justin Herbert more involved, yes, they're wasting Justin Herbert, I can't believe that, uh, Oregon's in a little bit of trouble here. Oregon State, meanwhile, I'm not sure what they figured out in the second half, other than maybe Jake Luton can throw the football. And by the way, they already have a decent running game. If that continues for Oregon State in the next four weeks, I think we're going to have a Civil War football game that's pretty interesting. Oregon State still can't stop anybody. They're going to have problems on the defensive side of the ball. But if they can run the football with Jamar Jefferson and Jake Luton can make teams pay, and they can make plays with Isaiah Hodgins and Trevon Bradford, Oregon State's kind of fun. So yes, the Civil War just got more interesting. I don't want to get carried away and overreact and say that Oregon State can win this game, but I certainly think we suddenly have a game, don't we?